Arkham and Art Series West has made its way to Evergreen Speedway for the 60th time. And this time, it's monumental. It's the 1,000th race in West Series history. Today is a special one, and it's all here next on NBC Sports. Welcome to the 1,000th Arkham and Art Series West Race. It's the Napa Auto Parts Arca West 150 at Evergreen Speedway. My name is Charlie Crawl, and I'll have all the action for you here tonight. Let's take a quick look at the weather. It's currently 74 degrees, a slight six mile an hour breeze blowing from the north northwest. And the best news, no rain in sight for tonight's race. Tonight is going to be historic. It is the 1,000th race in Arkham and Art Series West history. And Evergreen Speedway is packed with people who have helped make it what it is today. We've got historic race drivers, historic car owners, crew chiefs, and young drivers who have mentored other young drivers. There are a lot of stories that have been told over the years and a lot more stories yet to be created. Ron Hornaday said it best while racing brought him a sense of excitement. Being able to work with some of these young drivers coming up now has given him a new lease on life. Bill Sedgwick is a 17-time ARCA race winner, and he joined us today and told me uh, his favorite memory with the series was his two 500-lap wins right here at Evergreen Speedway. History happens right here at this racetrack, folks, and it's only going to continue here tonight. Let's take a quick look at the Arkham and Art Series West Championship standings heading into tonight. Jake Drew continues to lead. He has got a 45-point lead over last year's Bounty Rookie of the Year, Cole Moore. Tonight's Bounty Rookie Spotlight driver, Tanner Reif, is 49 points back. Todd Souza and P.J. Pedrincelli round out the top five. Joey East back in sixth followed by Takuma Koga and Bridget Burgess. Earlier today, the General Tire Pole Award was won by Tanner Reif for the second time this season. Let's head on downstairs and hear from tonight's General Tire Pole Award winner. Uh, I'm feeling really, you know, excited and glad to be back here. It's been six weeks since our last race, and uh, track feels good, car feels good. Team's really helping out here this weekend. Feels great to be out here. Uh, car feels great, and I think we got a good chance for this thing tonight. Great job tonight by Tanner Reif to pick up his second General Tire Pole Award of 2022. Let's go ahead and take a look at the rest of our General Tire starting lineup. Landon Lewis will start alongside on the front row. Landon's in the number 16 for Bill McAnally Racing. Back in row number two, Jake Drew and Cole Moore, our current championship contenders, starting alongside one another in that second row. Todd Souza and Joey East back in row three. Sean Hingarani and Trevor Huddleston back in row four, and Takuma Koga and Kyle Keller rounding out our top 10 starters. As the field completes its first preliminary lap, why don't we take a look at tonight's race analysis for the Napa Auto Parts Arca West 150, the 60th Arca Menard Series West race here at Evergreen Speedway. We're going to go 150 laps around the big 5 8 mile, which translates to 93 points. 75 miles. We're going to have a five minute break at halftime at or around lap 75, allowing teams to change tires and make adjustments. Teams have a maximum of four tires in the pit box tonight. That could be a challenge on this notoriously abrasive Evergreen Speedway surface. The last time the West Series raced here back in 2020, Blaine Perkins was the winner in the number nine Sunrise Racing Ford. Speaking of that number nine car, let's take a look at tonight's Bounty Rookie Spotlight driver, Tanner Reif. Driver of that number nine for Bob and Maureen Brancati. Tanner won earlier in the season at Irwindale Speedway, leading every lap in just his second series start. They'll be looking to give the Brancatis their fifth win of the season and his second win. But he'll have to stop his teammates' three-race win streak to make it happen here this evening. And folks, it is time to rock, roll, and rumble here at Evergreen. Green flags in the air. We're racing for the 1,000th time in West Series history here at Evergreen. Side by side, two turns, one and two. Landon Lewis rolling the top side of the racetrack. He's going to take the advantage down the back stretch and off into turns three and four. Landon Lewis now dipping to the inside of the racetrack. He will lead across the stripe to complete lap number one. Landon Lewis leads it down into one and two.
Lewis now starting to stretch that advantage. A couple of car lengths in hand now over Tanner Reif. They've separated themselves just a touch from Jake Drew and Cole Moore. The battle for third and fourth. And the caution lights are on. Caution flag here early in the going for a car spun down in turns one and two. It's like there was a car that came to rest just in front of our leaders down in turns one and two. And that'll put us under the caution flag for the first time with just two laps in the books. Now make it three as they come across. And that's why right there, Bridget Burgess looks like Bridget has gotten up into the outside wall and done some damage to the right side of that number 88. You're watching Parker Menard Series West Racing on NBC Sports. Menard Art Series West Racing on NBC Sports is brought to you by Menards. Save big money at Menards. And by General Tire. Hashtag anywhere is possible. Coming to the restart to complete lap number six. Green flag back in the air. We'll see what happens down into one. Landon Lewis with a great jump on that restart. And now Cole Moore. Going to make it a Bill McAnally Racing 1-2. He's going to take over that second position down the backstretch. And Todd Souza doing some off-road racing there off into turn three. Close call there for Todd Souza and Joey East. Top six cars now stringing out single file down the back stretch. Cole Moore starting to put a little pressure on his teammate. Of course, Landon Lewis picking up the victory earlier this season. Was driving for the Bruce Cook Racing Organization when he won at Kern County Raceway Park earlier in the season. The Bill McAnally team made a switch. Landon Lewis getting the call to fill the seat of that famed Napa Auto Parts number 16 and doing a good job jumping out to the lead as we see a battle for fifth here. Todd Souza looking to the inside of Joey East. Souza going to sneak down to the bottom side of the racetrack in turn one, take over that fifth position. Joey East trying to come back a little bit there, try to pull the crossover move, couldn't make it stick. He'll fall back into the sixth position. See if Todd Souza. Ooh, little sideways there off of turn four. Souza almost collecting the outside wall. See if he can reel in those top four as we see a side by side battle at the front of the field. Cole Moore trying to put a little pressure on Landon Lewis who turns one and two that time around. He's going to fall back into the second position, but Cole Moore looking very racy here in the early going. Top 10 cars almost in a single file freight train there down into turn one. There's the battle for the lead. One car length the distance between Landon Lewis and Cole Moore. Tanner Reif, two car lengths off Cole Moore's rear bumper. Top five cars all within about a car length or two of each other as they make their way down into turns one and two. Saw Todd Souza there in the number 13 car. The black and white car to the right side of your screen. Souza trying to sneak the nose there to the inside of Jake Drew. Souza's looking pretty racy here in the early going as well. Souza had a has had a very consistent season to this point. But a pair of finishes in the double digits have him far back in the championship standings as we see the field stacking up now. Cole Moore again trying to put some pressure on as we start to navigate some slower traffic. Appears to be Andrew Tuttle in the 39 car that the leaders have worked their way around. Two Chevrolets 
leading the field. Four forwards running nose to tail. Third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. There's Cole Moore again. Cole seems to really close in on Landon Lewis through turns one and two. Right on the back bumper of his teammate there through turns three and four as well. Cole Moore, a little bit quicker at this stage of the race than is our leader, Landon Lewis. Lewis now going to have to make a decision. David Smith in the 05 car. They're going to work his work their way to the outside. And let's see what happens here. Looks like we're going to go three wide around the lap car. exactly what happened. Tanner Reif went to the inside. Jake Drew went to the outside, splitting around the lap car of David Smith. Field not starting to Starting to log some laps here, get some laps under our belt after a slow start here in the Napa Auto Parts Arca West 150. Coming to complete lap 19 already is Landon Lewis. Holding on to a narrow advantage over Cole Moore. The two Bill McAnally racing teammates fending off the two Sunrise racing teammates. Tanner Reif and Jake Drew. And there's another good look at Todd Souza way sideways off a of turn two. Souza thrashing that number 13 machine, trying to keep in contact with our front four. Cole Moore again, trying to poke the nose of that 99 car down to the inside. Landon Lewis looks like Cole a little bit quicker at this stage of the race. Just can't quite get that car where he needs to be to get underneath Landon and drive off into the distance. Landon Lewis doing a nice job of driving defensively and keeping Cole Moore behind him. Big wide sweeping corners here at Evergreen Speedway. They race down into turns one and two another time. As we see the caution flag coming out for the second time here this evening. You're watching Arkham Menard Series West Racing. Welcome back to Arkham Menard Series West Racing at Evergreen Speedway. Green flag back up. Landon Lewis again with the jump down into turns one and two. But here comes Cole Moore on the charge to the bottom side of the racetrack. Tanner Rice trying to make some noise on that restart. Side by side, two rows deep up at the front of the field, and they're all teammates. Cole Moore charging it hard down into turns one and two. He's going to drift up the racetrack and push Landon Lewis way up the track. Give Cole Moore the lead, but here comes Jake Drew in the six move there by Cole Moore to take the lead down into turn one. That, folks, could be one of our Reese's Sweet Move of the Race candidates. Let's see if Jake Drew can follow through to the bottom side of the racetrack. Side by side, the battle on for the second position. Jake Drew going to get the advantage over Landon Lewis there. Move Jake Drew to second. Landon Lewis back to third. Tanner Reif back to fourth. Wow, some intense racing on that restart. And now Landon Lewis and Tanner Reif. Our General Tire Pole Award winner going to go to battle for that third position. 
Talked about Cole Moore, had a fast race car. Could tell he was just itching to get up to the front of the field to see if he could drive off. That's exactly what he's doing. He's got a half a second lead now over Jake Drew. And then this battle for third and fourth. Tanner Reif now sneaking the, sneaking the nose to the inside of Landon Lewis. Lewis going to hold on to that position. Jake Drew in that IrwindaleSpeedway.com Ford. Working on a three-race win streak. Trying to make it four in a row here tonight. Joey East starting to make some noise in that number 54 car. Joey has taken over the fifth position on that restart. He's gotten by Todd Souza. Look at Tanner Ryan. Tanner's a little bit quicker than Landon Lewis at this point. He had the left side tires down into the dirt, trying to find some racing room to get underneath Landon, trying to take over that third position. Those two slowly losing some ground to the front duo. About 15 car lengths, now the gap between those two, Cole Moore and Jake Drew, over that battle for third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. And Lewis holding on to the third position. Holding up the freight train. Tanner Reif, Joey East, Todd Souza all over the back bumper. Look at the car zooming off down into turns one and two. Now let's see Tanner Reif again hanging those left side tires down into the dirt. He's going to pull alongside Landon Lewis down the back stretch into turns three and four. Move Tanner Reif back into the third position. Joey East following him through as well. Landon Lewis, that car not handling the way that he was wanting it to. Landon Lewis has dropped from the lead all the way back to the fifth position. Cole Moore working his way through turns one and two. He's got about a five car length lead now over Jake Drew. There's the gap. About a half a straightaway now over Tanner Reif in third. Joey East has worked his way up to fourth. We talked about Jake Drew working on a three race win streak, trying to become the first driver to win four races in a row since Todd Gilliland did it back in 2017. It was the all time record for consecutive wins. Here in the West Series, how about this name, folks? Parnelli Jones. Legendary Parnelli Jones. Set the record for all-time consecutive wins. Six consecutive victories. Back in 1959. It's Landon Lewis working to the bottom side. Chris Loudon back on the racetrack in that number 11 car. The team gone to work and got the issues with that left front suspension solved on that number 11. Good to see Chris back out on the racetrack. The gap between Cole Moore. And Jake Drew at the front of the field, making about 10 car lengths now. Cole Moore getting out front. 
trying to stretch his legs in that number 99 car. Cole has been close to victory a couple of times already this season, but hasn't been able to park it down in victory lane. Nothing he would like to do more tonight than get that first career West Series win and bring that three race win streak that Jake Drew has going to a close. You are watching Arkham and Art Series West Racing on the USA Network. You Art Series West Racing on NBC Sports is brought to you by Bounty, the quicker picker-upper, and by Richmond Water Heaters, the water heater experts. And we are racing with 60 laps remaining here at Evergreen. And look at Jake Drew digging hard to the top side of the racetrack. Jake Drew side by side with Cole Moore. The battle for the lead on in turns three and four. Cole Moore not quite cleared on the front stretch. He is going to clear him down into turn one. But now Jake going to dive down to the bottom side of the move. A little slip and slide, dip and dive. Now Jake Drew to the bottom side of the racetrack. Can he make it stick down into three? Side-by-side -side battle for the lead off of turn four. Jake Drew to the bottom. Colmore leads across the stripe, but Jake Drew with the nose out in front, down into turn one. Tanner Reif there looking to follow his teammate through. Colmore not wanting to give that lead up at all. First laps he's led all season long. He doesn't want to give it up and certainly doesn't want to give it up to Jake Drew. This the battle between our point leaders here in the Arkham and Art Series West. Caution flag out. Caution flag out one more time, and that's going to bring this spirited battle for the lead to an early end. They're going to pick up right where they left off, side by side, battling for the lead. Green flag back up. Let's see what happens down into one. Jake Drew going to jump out in front. Cole Moore going to battle now side by side with Tanner Reif. Tanner going to take over that second move. He's got the power down. And he will take over second. Cole Moore back to third. Now remember, early in the opening stages of the race, a couple of other drivers jumped out and led some laps. Cole Moore's car came around with about 20 laps on the tires. We'll see if the same thing happens here in the second segment. As we see the Sunrise Racing teammates going at it for the lead. Jake Drew, Tanner Reif played a little bumper tag off into turn three that time. Cole Moore still lurking behind there in that third position. They've got a Bit of a gap there, about maybe a five-car length gap over Joey East in fourth. Landon Lewis holding on to that fifth position. Look at this, Tanner Reif getting a little racy there in the nine car. This has been a track that this Sunrise Racing team has had a lot of success, three consecutive wins over the years. Derek Thorne, Trevor Huddleston, Blaine Perkins. One of these two drivers wants to be the one to win that fourth race in a row. Right now, Jake Drew with the advantage, Tanner Reif Car length back. They've opened up a couple of car lengths now over Cole Moore in third. Of course, Bill Cedric, former West Series champion, the crew chief for Jake Drew in that number six car. Bill making some adjustments there under that break. Obviously giving Jake what he was looking for. More racing from Evergreen Speedway when we come back. 
back to Arkham and Art Series West Racing. Big question right now. What's Cole Moore have for the final 40 laps here? You saw that car come to life at about this point in that opening segment of the race. Will the same happen here in the final segment? Right now, that's what he's got to contend with. Big Drew, 10 car length lead over his teammate, Tanner Reif. About a one second gap up at the front of the field. Two and a half seconds back to Cole Moore in third. That's a good look at Todd Souza. Todd taking over the seventh position from Takuma Koga that time around. Todd making his 104th series start. Takuma Koga. Not too shabby himself, 97 career starts for the driver out of Nagoya, Japan. Takuma has his family here with them here today. Good to have them making the trip across the pond as well. As we jump back up to the front of the field, Jake Drew continuing to hold on. Now about a three quarters of a second lead over these two. Cole Moore, Joey East. Joey kind of cooling his jets for a couple of laps. Now going to make another run at Cole Moore. Joey sliding that car off a of turn four a little bit. Don't want to be doing that too much. Again, notoriously abrasive surface. Here at Evergreen Speedway, don't want to abuse those tires too early. The more you scratch that race car, the less rubber you're going to have available for you late in the run when you're going to need it. Again, Joey East dipping those left side tires down into the dirt. See Bridget Burgess out the windshield. Bridget going a lap down in the number 88 car. Bridget still holding on to that 10th position. Starting to think that Cole Moore might not have the car to get up there and challenge those two Sunrise Racing teammates. Those adjustments at the midway point might have been exactly what Jake Drew and Tanner Reif were looking for. That might leave Cole Moore on the outside looking in one more time here in 2022. Duo working their way past David Smith in that 05 car. Andrew Tuttle in the 39, next to go another lap down. Looks like Tanner Reif doing all he can just to stay within a second or so of Jake Drew. The battle now for third. Again, Cole Moore able to hold on to that third position. Joey East, he's dropped back. Was right up on Cole's back bumper about five laps ago. Now Cole's got a little breathing distance. again with a pair of second place finishes and this could be exactly what he was looking for caution flag out that's going to bunch the field up one more time with 30 laps remaining you're watching arkham and art series west racing from evergreen speedway right here on nbc sports 
squeeze. Welcome back to Evergreen Speedway. And back in the air. Let's see what happens down into one. Ooh. Jake Drew dragging those left side tires. We saw the sparks out of the bottom of that number six car. Tanner Reif working the top side. Side-by-side -side battle for the lead between teammates. And Tanner Reif winding up to the top side. And where's Cole Moore going to go? Still side-by-side -side for the lead. Tanner Reif with the slight advantage into three and four. Big Drew dirt tracking it through turn four. He's trying to keep the bottom side. Tanner Reif leads it across the stripe. And now he's going to grab the lead off of turn two. Tanner Reif with the power move on that restart. Keeping it wound up in the top side for two full laps. Now grabbing the lead free and clear over Jake Drew. I do believe that's the first time Tanner Reif has led all night long. Started on that general tire pole. Lurked among the top three or four all night long. Finally, after 128 laps, has worked his way up to the front of the field. Looking for his second win here of 2022. We see Joey East getting racy in that 54 car. Joey going to stick the nose to the bottom side of Cole Moore. He's going to shove Cole up the racetrack. Give Joey East the third position. Here comes Cole Moore digging to the bottom side. Cole Moore with the crossover move down into one. Ooh, I thought they were going to make some contact there, folks. Close call down into turn one. So Joey East working his way up into the third position. Cole Moore now back to fourth. And here comes Todd Souza. Todd's been just outside the top five most of the night. Now within shouting distance of the finish, Todd Souza coming to life in that number 13 car. Ooh, Todd Souza. Again, all kinds of sideways off of turn two. Susan now starting to reel in Cole Moore. Ooh, Kyle Keller with a big handful of steering wheel off of turn two that time around. Drivers crashing these automobiles with now 15 laps to go here at Evergreen Speedway. Everybody's showing what they have. Now at this point in the race, Tanner Wright driving off to a 1.6 second lead now over Jake Drew. Joey East, 3.1 seconds back. Cole Moore and Todd Souza now battling for that fourth position. Jake Drew 
came in working on a personal three race win streak. He wanted it to continue his team's three race win streak right here at Evergreen Speedway. Looks like the Jake Drew win streak might come to an end tonight. A very good chance that Sunrise Racing win streak here at Evergreen is going to continue on. continuing to build on that advantage. There's a tire management game here at Evergreen. And right now, Tanner Reif showing he did the best at saving those tires for late in the run. Here comes the battle for second right now. Joey starting to come alive in that 54 car. Does Joey East have the rubber left on those general tires to get up to the front of the field here tonight? Joey East has closed the gap, has taken more than a half second off of the lead, and he's got 10 laps to get to the front. First though, he's gotta work his way past Jake Drew. Jake starting to struggle a little bit in that number six car. They're gonna work their way past the number 11 of Chris Loudon. Awesome sparks dragging off the nose of that number nine car diving off into turn three right there. The battle for second now, heating up. Joey East putting some pretty serious pressure on Jake Drew. Jake coming into tonight with three consecutive wins and a 45 lead, 45 point lead in the series point standings. Now trying to hold on to that second position is Joey East all over the back bumper now down into turns one and two. stabilize just a little bit. Big Drew in the number six got about a two car length advantage now over Joey East in the number 54. Five to go this time around for leader Tanner Wright. Still trying to work his way around Jake Drew. Jake doing a great job of driving a defensive line in that number six car. Now we hone in on the leader, Tanner Wright, in the number nine. Coming to complete lap 147. This time around, three more trips around. Big 5 8 mile here at Evergreen Speedway. Now we peek back on that battle for second. East again trying to get up close enough to maybe give Jake Drew a little nudge and move him off the bottom side of the racetrack, but he just can't quite get to him. Two to go this time around. some slower traffic in the way. There's Andrew Tuttle in the 39 car. Andrew's doing a good job keeping that car well out of the way of that battle for position. 
Now they're going to close in on the 88 car. Bridget Burgess, the next to go. A lap down. White flag up. One more time around for Tanner Reif. And here comes Jake Drew closing in. Where did Jake Drew come from? Tanner Reif thrashing that car off at of turn two. Reif now working his way through turns three and four. Doesn't look like Jake Drew is going to get to him. Tanner Reif off at of turn four. Looking at the checkered flag. Tanner Reif going to win. The 1,000th weight race in West Series history. Where did Jake Drew come from on those final couple of laps? He went from 2.6 seconds back to just a half second back at the finish, but he couldn't quite get there. Tanner Wright picking up his second victory of 2022. We will be right back to hear from tonight's race winner, Tanner Wright. Our series West Racing on NBC Sports is brought to you by Sioux Chief, America's manufacturer of plumbing products by Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. Reese's, not sorry. And by Sprecher Fire Brewed Craft Soda, the official craft soda of ARCA. Welcome back to Evergreen Speedway and the 1000th Arkham and Art Series West Race is in the history books. Let's take a look at tonight's Reese's Sweet Move of the Race voted by you, the fans, on Twitter at Arca underscore racing. The results are in and you voted Tanner Reif's pass for the win as tonight's Reese's Sweet Move of the Race. Now let's send it downstairs and hear from tonight's race winner for the second time in 2022, Tanner Reif. Man, I'm feeling so good. You know, I want to thank the Sunrise Ford team, Bob McCarty Racing, everyone out here to help us win. Man, I mean, my crew did such a good job. Worked throughout the entire weekend. Base setups, got the halfway break setup perfect. Oh, man, I can't believe we're here right now. This is this is unbelievable. I want to thank David Kuhl, my spotter. Literally the world's best spotter. <laughs> oh, job. Jeff Schrader, best crew chief ever. Bill Cedric for setting up the car. All the fans for coming out. So good to be here. So good to win the 1,000th Arca race. That is something I'm really, really happy to be here for. Let's check out the results of tonight's Napa Auto Parts Arca West 150. Of course, Tanner Reif ending up in victory lane. Jake Drew coming home a close second. Couldn't quite close the deal on that fourth consecutive victory. Joey East with the best run he's had all season long. He comes home in third. Cole Moore led a lot of laps tonight, but he comes home in fourth. And Todd Souza rounds out the top five. Takuma Koga and Bridget Burgess rounding out the top 10. Sean Hingarani, we saw him get tied up with Landon Lewis in the middle stages of the race. He finished a disappointing 14th in his series debut. I'm feeling pretty good. I mean, uh, it sucks to have that streak come to an end, but uh, we are still super close there. And uh, of course, $1,000 for West Race, uh, that's a pretty uh, pretty cool deal on uh, Sunrise Racing going 1-2 and uh, you know being pretty dominant that second half there. So congrats to my teammate. Uh, and the whole nine team, they worked their butts off today. And so did my team. I mean, uh, we led a lot of laps this sort of day. And so, uh, you know, like I said, it's pretty cool to have Sunrise Racing 1 2 in this uh, 1000th West race. The Arkham Menard Series West Championship standings presented by Menards after seven races look like this. Jake Drew still has a 43 point lead now over Tanner Reif in second. Cole Moore back to third, 45 points out. Todd Souza and Joey East round out the top five. Takuma Koga in that sixth position in front of Bridget Burgess. P.J. Pedrincelli not in competition here at Evergreen. He's back to eighth. Austin Herzog and Paul Pedrincelli round out your top ten. The next race for the NASCAR Touring Series schedule here on USA Network is the Arkham and Art Series West Race at Portland International Raceway, the Portland 100. You can catch it right here on USA Network coming up September 16th at 1 p.m. Eastern Time. Tanner Rice scored the clean sweep here tonight. He was our bounty rookie spotlight driver, picked up the general tire pole award in qualifying and used a lot of grit and determination to park it down in victory lane this evening, highlighting the fact that he will be a force to be reckoned with as we continue on with the 2022 West Series season. Congratulations squad to him and the entire number nine team in the Vegas Fastener Manufacturing Ford for his accomplishment, winning the 1,000th Arkham and Art Series West Race. Don't forget, folks, NBC Sports is your home for Arkham and Art Series East and West Racing, as well as the NASCAR Modified Tour. Thanks so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed the show. We'll see you next time. Until then, so long, everybody.
This copyrighted telecast may not be reproduced, retransmitted, or used in any form without the authorized written consent of NASCAR Broadcasting. NASCAR would like to thank all of our fans for your support, and we hope you enjoy today's broadcast.